place called Dholpura in the Sirohi and Jalor uh, Lok Sabha constituency, and we have with us Babab Gailot, the Tarnan Hasho Gailot. Babab Ji, uh, first of all, uh, whenever we're talking about uh, your campaign, Hasho Gailot's name is uh, he's almost warmly present. Why do you think he's, he, because he has represented this area many times? He has uh, implemented the scheme, serious his tenure. So every congressman, every Rajasthan person knows that the schemes were launched by his government. The welfare scheme at the people of Rajasthan. Are you, are you happy with the uh, outcome? Because it's three, almost 3 p.m. and people in the packed house here. Are you, are you happy with the crowd? It's almost three, but uh, packed house here. Yes, you are right that uh, in spite of the uh, too much heat and too much hot weather, you can see that uh, women in large numbers have come openly in this meeting. And also many elderly persons and public in this hot weather, which is a good sign for the Congress party. But the BJP is saying they're, they're, win, they're winning 25 out of 25 again. Yesterday I met Daniel uh, Singh Shekhawat. He said that uh, you shifted constituency because of him. From where he has shifted to Jodhpur? Just ask him from where he has shifted from Jodhpur. Okay. Well, he has shifted from Shekhawati to Jodhpur. Why he shifted? That's a counter question. If I get a chance, then ask. He's not from Jodhpur. But, but I am in my own my Marwar region. And it is not shifting. I am in Marwar. And my home the area is Marwar. This party's decision. When and where we has to fight. This is, a, this is a constituency that was once yeah. represented by any uh, tall leaders like Buddha Singh. Uh, are you, are you, uh, do you hope that you are uh, Do you think that the Congress has uh, done the right thing by uh, you know, fielding you? It, has, uh, it, it seems to be a very important thing for the Congress. Yes, but uh, from last 20 years, you see, but you BJP uh, uh, is getting this seat. And this 20 years, they have not done anything. The, the MP from BJP. Uh, has not got any uh, big schemes here, not any big development in this region. So it's a right decision from the party so that uh, people uh, have made up their mind this time that they don't want uh, BJP anymore. From last 20 years, they have seen that this uh, area has got, has got nothing out of BJP. Do you think that is the reason they have changed the uh, incumbent uh, MP from this region? They filled in a new MP. Sitting MP has been replaced. The party is the same. And people are in the mood that uh, BJP party uh, uh, representative has not done a thing in this 20 years. Whether they change the candidate or not, that doesn't affect. What What are the issues here? What are the issues in this Lok Sabha? That 20 years, there's this. Nothing would happen in Jalur Silva. It is the main issue. No, well, nothing from the government of India or the MP got in. And the issue is that not, there was any new trains. There's a demand from for trains in this in both the districts, especially in National Highway also. That these both districts should be linked by the National Highway. That also the BJP candidate uh, MP couldn't get it from last few. How is the response so far? No, the response is uh, very good and uh, I am sure that uh, this time people have made up their mind in Jarosroy for Congress. Uh, but uh, Mr. Shikawat is saying, I just met him yesterday, that it's 25 out of 25. Uh, there's no chance for BG, uh, Congress. Uh, what, what, what is, how, how is he getting that confidence? You will see on 4th of June, let's catch it. And this again on 4th of June. Okay, let's catch. I'll, 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 that that means that you're promising an interview on 4th of June. Yeah, sure. But uh, one thing is for sure that uh, Mr. Uh, Ashok Gehlot, he in this entire uh, region, Marwa region, he has he is. I mean, even the BJP uh, leadership uh, concedes that he is seen very, with a great amount of respect. Do you think that is helping you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, not even me, but uh, all the 25 seats in Rajasthan Lok Sabha has. All seats are uh, having a edge over BJP because of uh, Mr. Ashok Gehlot's welfare schemes which he launched during the Congress regime. And I'm definitely not even uh, not even in Marwar, but the whole of Rajasthan 
uh, we are getting benefit out of that. I've been hearing uh, complaints in your speeches about some of the welfare speech, uh, you know, schemes he started that have been abruptly stopped by this BJP government. Uh, about, uh, do you think that will resonate with people? Actually, they have not stopped it, but they have uh, deliberately uh, uh, made them uh, these schemes a week uh, in terms of financial aid and other things. Can you give an example? Like a uh, pension scheme, which was started by uh, Mr. Ashok Gelod's uh, second tenure for the elderly people. Now, wherever we go, most of the elderly people say that they are not getting pension from last two months. Some say last three months. They are saying they are, we are continuously follow, following up with the authorities, but uh, they are uh, deliberately not giving the pension. So all these complaints are coming in just uh, three months of BJP. I want to ask you about the seats. Uh, what are the num uh, number of seats you are looking at? I think Congress will be uh, having a good seats this time in Rajasthan. I think it will be in, on double digits. Okay, I want to uh, ask you one precise question about uh, an allegation of uh, Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. Uh, he said, I mean, yesterday in the interview, he said that uh, I, as a Jal, Jal, uh, Jal Shakti minister, gave 27,000 crore in the last four years to the Rajasthan government. But uh, Ashok Gehalo didn't use it uh, for political intentions. He kept people of Rajasthan thirsty. Can Mr. Shekhawat uh, name one scheme which he got from Delhi as a Jal Shakti minister for the people of Rajasthan, especially for the people of Marwar? Can you just uh, name any one of the uh, scheme which he has got? He's saying that I've got uh, this uh, uh, Jal Jeevan mission which has got for the entire nation. Rajasthan is part of it. No, but I don't think so that he has got anything for Rajasthan specifically. Okay. One final question if I may ask you, if you have one uh, message for the opposition, particularly the BJP, what will be that? I'll uh, ask the BJP that uh, the schemes started by the Congress government were for the poor people, for the welfare schemes, uh, for the people and the needy. And just because of political reasons, they should not deliberately uh, either stop them or either uh, make them slow. Don't stop the welfare scheme started by my father is the message for the BJP from uh, Ashok Gehloth's son, Vavav Gehloth, who is a, a candidate from this uh, area of Jalor. And of course, another claim that the Congress is going to win uh, at least in double digit from Rajasthan, while as the BJP claiming that they are going to win 25 out of 25. It remains to be seen who st who whose claims are true.